Well, hello there. Welcome to Dude RV. Appreciate you stopping by. If you haven't already, click on that subscribe button down below. That way you get to see lots of stuff like this. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there. I'll zoom in. We're currently set up at Lake Corpus Christi State Park. But we're done here. We are about to get on the road. We are headed north to visit a Corps of Engineer campground, West Cliff Park on Belton Lake. It's right outside of Belton, Texas. Just off the highway, as a matter of fact. So come along with us as we go visit West Cliff Park, Belton Lake. West Cliff Park, Belton Lake. It's a nice little COE campground. We're in site number 19, and check this out. Looks like a relatively new metal table and metal cover, barbecue cooker, fire ring, lantern hook. Nice big decomposed granite patio. There's not any shade, so during the summer it's gonna be brutal. But today we've got a we had a little bit of a cold front blow through and it's kind of kind of a chilly north wind so it's going it's, it's, we've got trees giving us a windbreak. So we're at the end of the loop here. And as soon as I eat some lunch, we're going to hop on the scooter and we're going to do our tour. It's not nearly as level as it looks. I should have put some blocks under those back wheels. Slopes that way. We're 30 and 50 amp. Best of all, we're right here by the water. Of course, all of the sites are by the water. As far as water sites go, this one is probably the least like least desirable but there was a lot of rain yesterday so the lake is way up all right lunch and then we'll go see some stuff stay tuned more to come west cliff park on belton lake it's not that large it's not a huge facility this is the day use area, which is currently still closed because of COVID-19. That's a dead end road. All right, so I guess we'll just do a little off-road action. Because we got to get over here to see, whoa, there's a curb. Curbs and, curbs and scooters. 
don't go well together because Little Red's got a belly hanging down. A battery pack box. All right. There is a beach. No pets and no glass containers. Buster is not allowed on this beach. It's actually not a sandy beach, it's a gravel beach. And there's the park. This is not going to be a real long video. <laughs> Stay tuned. Westcliff Park, Belton Lake. I'm really liking this little park. Lots of bank access for bank fishing. You got a boat ramp. And there's even uh, a courtesy dock. Of course, to get to the courtesy dock, you got to go over here. We'll go down here and check out the courtesy dock. Just know if you're coming out here in the winter and a cold front is blown through, that north wind cuts straight across this lake. And it's chilly. Chilly, chilly. So at one time, this, this was a concrete sidewalk. But no more. I think Belton received something like five inches of rain over the last two days. Or last over the last week. No fishing. Says it right there. West Cliff Park. I'm running out of things to show you here. I'll figure something out. Well, it looks like West Cliff Park is not a favorite spot when the north wind is blowing. When I made my reservations, the only site that was available was 19 at the very end. None of these were available. Did you know me? I'd have been right here on the beach. So, there's not a whole lot here, but it's very pretty what is here. I'll see if I can find us something else. There are primitive campsites here at West Cliff Park on Belton Lake. So if you don't have an RV and you still, and you don't need power, like today, you really did, don't need air conditioning, you can literally <laughs> camp right here, listening to the sound of the waves. Well, just be advised, they're gonna be watching you from on top of the hill. That'd be a cool house to have right there. All right, so we're gonna do a scooter run now. Back later.
Meister Spicers here. Check this out. Oh, we gotta put some light on that. Look at there. Carne asada. Gonna be so good. Oh, yeah. Cooking on the charcoal. Been marinating. How long has that been marinating? We had that marinating today, probably a total of about six hours. Six marinating for six hours with the Meister Spicer special seasoning for carne asada. I cannot wait. Oh and the reveal. Oh my goodness, brother. That looks really, really good. Give me this, give me this sample here. <laughs> ah! Oh man. That's some tasty meat. That's some tasty stuff right there. Thanks to the Meister Spicer. So the Meister Spicer is cooking it up, cutting it up. We're about to dig in to some carne asada. Now this is flank steak, correct? No, this is skirt steak. This is skirt steak. I am corrected. A little more fibrous, a lot more tasty. So tell us what's in this. My goodness, we marinated this for about six hours because about an hour of it was getting over here. We've got olive oil, we've got soy sauce, balsamic vinegar, orange juice, lime juice, we've got cumin, oregano, garlic, onion, and maybe a secret ingredient or two, but I think that's just about everything. We just put it in the bag, let it marinate, oh, and a half a cup secret ingredient half of cup of chopped cilantro. All right, and this, this is a special blend from the Meister Spicer, myspiceclub.com. I do get my spices from my spice club. Not a lot of people know who that is. The blend is something that I've worked on. If you wanna know the amounts, I'm happy to give them to anybody. Or if you'd like to buy some, I'd be happy to put some together and then you just mix the oil and the orange juice and the lime juice together and you can do this too. It's really good. That is good stuff. So the Meister Spicer has, I'm so glad he came to see me. <laughs> I'm glad I came to do it, RV. Look at this. <laughs> I don't even need the rest of the stuff. That means it's so good. All right, so if anybody in the Dude RV community has questions or wants to know about this blend that you put together, how can they reach you? You can reach me real simply at MeisterSpicer at gmail.com. Say it again one more time. All right. MeisterSpicer at gmail.com. How's that spelled? M-E-I-S-T-E-R-S-P-I-C-E-R at gmail.com. All right. So there you have it. MeisterSpicer at gmail.com. This dude knows how to cook some steak. Oh my God, that's good. Oh man. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna dig in. And you'll just have to imagine how good this is because uh -huh. it's freaking good. More to come. Good morning. West Cliff Park, Belton Lake. Right outside of Temple. Not a whole lot going on in this little park, but it is a nice little park. There's lots of deer. I see two running across the park right now. Let's go see if we can get a look at them. Way up there. Probably can't see them. They're probably too far out. Anyway, this there's not a lot of road, there's not any road noise here at West Cliff Park. There's not any road noise. Uh, so far there hasn't been a whole lot of boating noise either, but the weather has been unfavorable for lake activities. There is something, it's like a power plant or something that I can hear rumbling in the background. But it, you know, we didn't hear it in the RV. Had you been in a tent, you'd hear it all night. 
This brings us to the end of our four park September journey, Labor Day journey. Westcliff Park, great, great waypoint stop. Beats the heck out of sleeping in a parking lot for, you know, $9 a night. You get power and water. If you if you don't have an RV and you're you're traveling with a tent, the grass is plenty soft. All right, so if this is your first visit to Dude RV, please click on the subscribe button, hit that bell as well. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm so deeply honored that you find me entertaining and informative. Thank you so very much. Y'all come back now, you hear?